Alright, we're checking out the only game where you can create light speed hurricanes in order to backhand meteorites out of the sky and save Earth's population. It's Universe Sandbox. So there was a recent update to Universe Sandbox that allows us to mess with clouds, the weight of clouds, and atmospheric weight. What this means is I get to do stupid things that you shouldn't be allowed to do in science and test them in the most ridiculous ways possible. Yes, I want to create a light speed hurricane, but that's not all. Normally, I would just create a light speed hurricane and murder everyone on Earth, but that's too easy. I want to create a light speed hurricane with clouds that are so heavy that it can backhand a meteorite out of the Earth's atmosphere and save us all from certain annihilation. Now, you folks, especially those of you in Japan, I just say that because it's here right now, maybe saying to yourself, But Gray, if there's light speed cloud cover, wouldn't that just kill everyone on Earth anyway? I don't know. No one's ever made light speed clouds. So I guess we're going to find out. Also, uh, I have to mention something. Universe Sandbox is simulating all this cloud cover right now. Uh, this simulated cloud looks a lot like something juvenile that I draw in all of my other drawing games. I had nothing to do with this. This was here before I got there. So anyway, as always, we need what I like to call the death baseline. All right, so here we can see how fast the clouds are moving in real life. This is five days every second. Kind of slow. You know what we call this? Rookie numbers! Now to help us test the baseline of death, we're gonna go down here and grab a volunteer. Uh, radius of 116 kilometers. Yeah, this looks good. Now I do like to abuse Florida a lot, but let's just say that this was an alien invader. I'm gonna have them go to Australia. <laughs> Yeet. Now you may be saying to yourself, why Australia? Because in case my light speed clouds don't work, I guess, I, I don't know, they'll just get poisoned by everything down there. All right, time to see where the baseline is. Oh, look at this, it might not even hit Australia. Oh, actually it might, it might just barely hit the tip. So, um, does anyone happen to live like right on this coast? Because if so, things might get fairly bad in just a moment. That was a pretty deep impact. Oh, we always go deep on this channel. It's pretty awesome too because from this distance, you can actually see the mushroom cloud elevating off the surface of the earth. Well, I call it a mushroom cloud. It's basically just a vomit of hell death. Man, and this is only 116 kilometers. All right, so it hits, vomits out all of the fragments. The fragments are littering everywhere. In a moment here, uh, it will start to rain fire down upon Australia. You'll actually uh, see that in just a moment. Yep, there it is. All right, um, well, hold on. Let's see how much of the population is still left because like I said, this is our test. Oh man, we only killed 4% of the population. Oh wow. Uh, the peppering of fragmented solar diarrhea is reaching, oh my God, <laughs> it's reaching over to like, Spain <laughs> didn't touch Japan though. Lucky them and everyone's always talking about like screwing up the ozone layer Now there is a permanent hole in our ozone layer. <laughs> All right, but the question is can the earth recover from this? And yes, you can see people are starting to procreate again the life on earth is going back up and we're for the most part fine Look at this even Australia has healed. Okay. I do want a secondary test here I need something just a little bit bigger. So what is this? 116 kilometers, 0 0.08 of the radius of the earth. I feel like this one is slightly bigger. Hold on, Australia, I already screwed you over one time. <laughs> yeah, might as well go for Florida. Right about here. Oh, I don't, I don't think I needed to really aim up that well. All right, Sedna or whatever the hell your name is. All right, Sedna is coming in and I was completely off center. And so instead we're gonna end up killing like Texas and or Mexico. I'm gonna keep increasing these clouds until we can stop this thing I've decided. It's so, oh God. I was gonna say it's so big and so powerful. I might have to go beyond light speed for the clouds. Mm. Give me a hug, Earth. Earth is like, no, stop. 
<laughs> All right, let's see how the Earth is doing here. Uh, well, the average surface temperature of the Earth is now 117 degrees Celsius. That is to say, not too good. It also has a concave hole on one side now. Okay, so it's only been a couple of seconds because we're moving at 1.55 seconds per second that this thing hit the Earth. You know, I need to, I need to have a real name for this. Hold on. Your name is Satan. Please. Anyway, what I was saying is this has only been happening for a few seconds and we have we've officially killed everyone Everyone died from that like the ring of fire hasn't even gone anywhere yet and everyone is just dead So if my light speed hurricane can keep at least 1% of the population alive That's better than this because that is a hell of a ring of fire that's spreading throughout the earth You may be saying yourself <laughs> Be. Bad to the point where part of the ocean's temperature is 23,000 degrees Celsius. I feel like that's no longer water. I feel like that's no longer steam. All right, so we've killed everyone in what is the shape of a starfish. That's interesting. Our beautiful blooming flower of earthly genocide. The impact ring of fire is still stretching. It is now passing South America. Luckily, Florida did basically get boiled right away, so we don't have to worry about, you know, a slow death. All right, speed things up here. And now all of the other particulates will slowly sweep over the earth, killing anyone who may be left. Excellent. And then you get pelted by all these dust and gases. All right, now that we pretty much, oh look, I basically made the Death Star. All right, now that we know where kind of death and a lot of death is, I have to start speeding up the clouds. First things first though, I need a new earth. Hey, new earth. This earth is like, what happened to the last earth? That's not important. We're gonna name this, there we go. Alrighty, first things first here, cloud speed simulated, nope. Cloud speed. 12 meters a second. Oh, one of the increments of, of speed is light speed. What do you know? The developers must be watching. So let's do, uh, instead of 12 meters a second, let's do uh, 12 kilometers a second. <laughs> Woo, Jesus. Okay, so our clouds got a lot thicker and now they're moving at 12 kilometers a second, but they weigh exactly the same. So we have to change that. Hold on. Uh, ah, atmospheric mass. One Earth. Let's just double it. I don't want to go too far. Okay, so kind of looks like the clouds have gotten even thicker, turning into something like a Venus at this point. The average temperature of the Earth is starting to rise. How many people are left alive? Uh, okay, so just doing that immediately killed 40% of the population. But that's okay. We still have 62% left. So let's see if this does any better when faced with our meteorite. All right, so we're gonna start like we did last time over here. See if I can give Panama some loving. I don't really know because it's pretty cloudy. All right, slow things down. And here we go. It's actually kind of awesome now because the clouds are moving so fast that you can see them move even though this thing is flying at 36 kilometers a second. And here we... All right, it's definitely touching our gigantic field of clouds. Ah, uh, it still looks pretty bad. All right, there is the the death explosion. You can see some of the particles starting to put holes in the clouds. All right, but the question is, how many people did that kill? I only killed 2% this time. That's pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like a light speed hurricane may legitimately save the Earth. All right, speed this up, let it do its thing. See if the Earth can heal. There we go, nice. And there you go, back to normal. I know I hate you, Gray, may beg to differ, but you know, as normal as we can get. All right, now let's see if we can save any of the population by throwing this at it. There we go. I didn't actually see where I shot this at, so I don't know who's gonna get hit with it. Oh, it just, it's just out in the middle of the ocean. What could possibly go wrong? I want you to have a different name though. Your name is Tyler. Hey, okay. oh God. All right, still looks fairly bad. This time we seem to have the shape of a maple leaf happening. Whoa, we only killed like 10 extra percent of all the people on the earth. Hell yes. My clouds are amazing! I mean, more people are slowly dying as, you know, all of the particles settle in, but let's see where we end up at. Hey! Only like 15 extra percent death. Nice. Okay, now let's make our clouds speed. I'm going for it, man. We'll start at one light speed, and if we have to do more light speed, we will. Well, why did it already go to 12 light speed? Just, just one. I don't want to go too crazy. <laughs> oh, hold on, I forgot to get a new Earth. I know this, 
this new earth is like, damn it. Get over it, Joseph. All right, let me get the light speed clouds back. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Remember how I said I was gonna make like a category billion hurricane? This is like a double eye hurricane. I think, is that the entire United States? This is the, in, this is the size of the entire United States. Part of the hurricane is touching South America, actually. Jesus, what else is happening on Earth? How come it's all happening over here? There's like another smaller hurricane up here. Why does it always have to happen right next to Florida? All right, so anyway, we have our light speed clouds, and now we just have to increase the mass of the atmosphere. Uh, we'll go by 10. I'm gonna slow things way down, not like it's gonna matter because the clouds are still having an epileptic seizure. Okay, now unfortunately, the weight of the new atmosphere is, uh, you know, bringing the temperature of the Earth up as it does, but we still have 15% of the people left on Earth. So like I said, as long as there's like 1% left to save, this could work because we know the second meteorite instantly kills everyone normally and just 12 kilometers a second clouds at only twice as heavy managed to save, you know, 40% of the population? That's honestly way better than I had hoped. All right, we're gonna grab our boy over here. I would give Japan the yeet, but I actually can't see it. It's somewhere around here. Uh, whatever, right around here. Yeah, there we go. All right, slow things way down. Actually, things are so slow right now. And look at how fast the clouds are still moving. My meteorite doesn't even look like it's getting anywhere. Hold on, let me speed it up. Okay, here we go. And, oh, hold on, slower. Okay, it's about to touch. It's about to touch the ridiculous light speed clouds. Yes. Oh, oh. What the hell? <laughs> hold on. <laughs> did, did it literally just turn to dust? It turned into a giant cheese ball. It's delicious. Okay, it looks like it still did kind of make a, like a, a little burrowed area in the middle where it hit, but there are a couple of small fragments. Hold on, let me just, I gotta speed things up here to see what the hell's gonna happen with this. All right, there is a really weird layer of fire. I, yeah, look, the, the, the meteorite turned into a plasma or something when it hit the cloud. Oh god, maybe because the clouds are so close to the surface of the earth, it just made things so much worse for us. It's like a secondary detonation. All the fragments are like tiny suns. Oh my god, they're 12,000 degrees Celsius each. No. Hold on. Is anyone left alive, for god's sakes? Oh wow. Tons of people are still left alive. I think we've only lost like 1% of what was left of the population. Let me see what happens with these fragments here. Okay, so the fragments- Ah! What the hell? Uh... I... What the... What the hell happened? I'm stuck. I'm stuck on the planet. I actually can't move in the game. Oh, here we go. Let me off of the surface! What the hell happened? What happened? Joseph, no! What is this? Oh no, did my light speed clouds like... Rip the entire planet apart? I mean, I hadn't really thought about that, but I guess it's possible. Oh God. Oh no. Okay. All the, like all the pieces that are coming off of it are evaporating though. Oh Lord. Oh, now it's pooping out incredible interstellar smoke. Now it's burning away. What is happening to this planet? Joseph, I'm so sorry. Needless to say, life is- <laughs> everyone's dead, of course. Oh, the max temperature isn't that bad. It's only 1300 degrees Celsius. That's not- that's not too bad. Uh, I'm gonna- I'm gonna speed time up here just to see if anything is left in the end of Earth. Hey! Yeah, we do have a little Earth left. Like, legit, we- we ended up with a tiny Earth. It has, you know, somewhat normal temperatures. The boiling point is 166 degrees Celsius, which is interesting. In case you're wondering, yes, everyone is still dead. Huh, we're actually only one third of our original size. Okay, well that was amazing. So now I have to know what happened. Now we're just gonna, I'm gonna make the clouds go like 1 billion times light speed and I'm gonna increase the mass to whatever, 1 billion times normal earth mass. All right, we've got a new earth. Let me just say this in advance. Alrighty, clouds, light speed. One with a lot of zeros. 
There we go, that's one billion times light speed. And for the atmospheric mass, one billion times Earth. Okay, I've got some bad news. Earth now has a like red tinged death glare. All right, let me go ahead and slow things down here and see what this does. Oh my God. I love how at this point, it's not even just hurricanes anymore. This is like a hurricane in the shape of a lima bean. Look at what is happening right now on this planet. I have to just stay stopped because it moves so fast. You can't see it at any other speed. Was anyone able to survive? The no, everyone died. That said, even though all life on Earth is gone, I have to see what would happen if we threw the meteorite at it. Listen, this is for science, okay? Very violent science. Okay, there we go. All right. Let's see finally if our clouds are clouds that are in the shade of the blood that they have pulled out of all of the human beings on Earth. Let's see if it can finally backhand the meteorite. Okay, speed up here. There we go. All right, and we are coming in for a landing. Hold on. Okay, I just want to stay like super slow here as we go in for the hit. All right, yeah, perfect. Here we go. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Where did, where did you go? We were moving at 1.4 seconds per second. What the hell happened? Ah, uh, what the hell? Ah, uh, oh, oh my God. Um, did, did that hit? Did that hit evaporate the entire solar system? Everything, everything is gone. All the planets, the sun, everything is gone in one shot. I, we murdered everything. We murdered everything in the entire universe. Whatever this is, is all that's left. The best part is when I pause, it turns to this. Well, I want to know what happens when you put a 1 billion speed hurricane on the surface of the Earth in an atmosphere that weighs 1 billion times more than normal and a uh, asteroid hits it. Turns out you destroy the fabric of the universe. Hey folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Universe Sandbox. <laughs> Until next time, stay foxy and much love. <laughs>